Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Mallory. We are out here on the beautiful campus of Meridian, um, just like always to talk to you all about just things that are going on, new tools, new tips. Mm -hmm. I want to talk today about toxic positivity. Oh, I know you do. Laura's been talking about toxic positivity for a little while now. So, mm -hmm. so what's, do you have like any new insights, anything else that you've noticed? Yes. Okay. So we've talked about this topic before, for those of you who may not be familiar with what the term means, mm -hmm. way back in the beginning of the pandemic, when everything locked down, uh, we talked about um, these pressures that people were putting on themselves and on others with how they should respond to being quarantined or being locked down or being in the pandemic. Like, oh, you should be productive and you should get dressed every day and you should have new hobbies and you should learn to cook and you should, you know, be a black belt by the time you come out of quarantine. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, all of these things that um, were sort of being shoved in our faces when maybe we didn't feel like doing that, you know? And in and, and one of our earliest videos, I think we talked about like, if you want to binge Netflix, binge Netflix, right? Mm -hmm. Like do, you know, don't feel that pressure and mm -hmm. um, don't put it on yourself either. So I think, you know, that is still going on, but I've noticed that there's sort of a new layer now that this thing has gone on for a very long time. There's a new layer that has been really bothering me lately. Mm. And it's this whole, well, it could be worse. Well, mm. you know, for those of us that are working and still have jobs, it's, you know, well, at least you have a job. Well at least you're spending more time with your family. Well, it could be so much worse. And, you know, and I um, had a battle with COVID and, you know, so I'm hearing, and this has kind of been the trigger for me and why I've been talking to you about mm -hmm. it so much lately. I've been hearing a lot of, well, at least you weren't that sick. Well, at least you got better. Well, you know, and it's just like, at any point, do we just get to sort of feel bad about things? Yeah. <laughs> like, and I feel like that's really harmful. It is. And it's like the issue with that is that, um, you know, it dismisses the wide range of emotions that yes. we have as humans. It's very invalidating. And I think that um, when we don't allow ourselves to experience all of our emotions, um, you know, we've, you and I have talked on these videos and to each other a lot about, you know, anxiety and depression and, and how to, and I get it, it feels like mixed messages, but it isn't. But it feels that way sometimes because we talk about how those things are um, harmful and how, you know, here's all these tools and these tricks to not feel too sad or too anxious or too afraid, right? But feeling them at all is not bad. Yeah. Right. So it's part of, like you said, our normal range of human emotions. And when we don't allow ourselves to feel them and when we try to not allow other people to feel them, it actually makes those problems worse. It, it causes um, this sort of internalized belief structure that or guilt. Yes, that we are somehow weak or deficient or there's something wrong with us that we aren't seeing the silver lining or the bright side. And mm -hmm. and um, and it just makes those problems worse. It can cause, like you said, guilt, mm -hmm. shame, um, and and it causes more anxiety, more depression, mm -hmm. and even PTSD mm -hmm. if we do not allow ourselves to feel sadness and feel anger and, and feel disappointment and all those things that we're built to feel just right along with happiness and joy and, and excitement. Like those are all really, really normal. So yeah. I guess then my question to you is, how do we navigate that? Mm. You know, you and I spend a lot of time telling people how to get out of the funk, you know, and that's valid, but like, how do we navigate knowing that it's okay to not be okay sometimes? Yeah, I, I think there's quite a few things that you can do. One, try not to suppress those emotions, just allowing yourself to feel it, right? Whether that looks like, you know, feeling those emotions and writing it out or journaling or, like that. Yeah. Um, you know, venting to a friend, mm -hmm. like sometimes that that is effective, but trying not to suppress those. Um, I think another thing we can do is recognize the when there is toxic positivity. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times that looks like yeah, people telling you phrases like, you know, positive vibes only or choose happiness, choose happiness, right? Mm -hmm. um, so recognizing that, okay, yeah, they're, they care about you. They're telling you those things because they have good intentions. Because that comes um, from a good place when someone's does, doing that, right? It does. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Know that, um, you know, that that is what we're talking about, this kind of toxic positivity. And it's okay if you don't feel that way. Yeah. It's okay to not be okay, okay? Yeah. That's, a, that's another thing to tell yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Give yourself some slack, give yourself a break. 
Um, I think another thing we can do is validate the feelings of other people mm -hmm. and validate the feelings of our of ourselves. You know, it's hey, we're all going through a crisis right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's understandable that many of us are feeling really stressed and and anxious or upset or you know easily easily agitated. Um, so so kind of validating that and be like, yeah. Because that's appropriate for the situation sometimes. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. And another thing I'm thinking is being mindful of social media. Yeah. Um, because oftentimes, especially now during a pandemic, um, we see people on social media just we see their their highlight reel, as you mm -hmm. like to put it. You know, it's their their perfect great days right right, like, right don't take that as a, as a literal thing like maybe they're um maybe they did have a great day that day mm -hmm. okay or or maybe they only posted um to make them feel selves feel better that's so um, true or maybe they took that picture months ago before the pandemic and they are just kind of post trying to keep a, a happy feed mm -hmm. um so keep that in mind social media like there's this front there's this cover mm -hmm. um so it's important to be aware of that um and i think a, a last really really important thing to keep in mind is that feelings emotions are not mutually exclusive mm -hmm. um it is okay to feel upset set and angry and sad or you know all of these more negative emotions during this pandemic but also to feel grateful that you still have a job or something like that like it's okay and I think you can feel that about the same thing right yeah like you can be like oh my gosh I have so much more stress at my job because of the pandemic mm -hmm. and also I'm really grateful that I have it yeah you know like so I, I love my family and we spend more time together and they're driving me bonkers yeah. right? <laughs> like I think we can have both of those emotions at the same time about the same thing definitely and you know, knowing that feelings like frustration and jealousy and um, sadness, those are those are a part of, of human emotions and Being just knowing a person. that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. But now if, um, you know, we talk about a range of emotions, right? Mm -hmm. So if the range is imbalanced mm -hmm. and we are having trouble and, and all we're feeling is the sadness and the despair and all of the joy and the happiness is faked, um, then, you know, maybe we do need some help, right? So when that happens and if that happens, you give us a call, Meridians by your side, you can reach us at 352-374-5600, get connected with our access center um, and we'll help you out. So yeah. until then, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.